Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football back here at the Texas State 7-on-7 state tournament here with the head coach of the Ganado Indians, Coach Josh Irvin, before uh, his guys get going today here in the pool play. Coach, I uh, appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, thanks for uh, coming over. For sure. And, Coach, uh, uh, first off, let's, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. Uh, a, a certain magazine is out, and uh, – and you guys are ranked number one in the state in the preseason. And I know for you guys, the, the, the goal is to be ranked number one at the end of the season, not at the beginning of the season. But I think that ranking reflects the success you guys had last year and the kind of talent you have coming back. So just overall, your thoughts on that and how excited is the community for the season to get kicked off? Uh, the community, they're very excited right now. Um, the kids are looking forward to the season. I'm looking forward to the season, the coaching staff. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, I mean, it is the preseason ranking. The season hasn't started. Every year is a new year, um, and and it's a new team. Uh, we got a lot of kids back, but we just got to play week by week, see what happens, and uh, and and we're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, last year you guys uh, met kind of. I met you know yet you've been Ganado's been good for a while. It's not like you guys haven't been a playoff team and winning playoff games. But last year I think beating Refurio in the regional final kind of really put you guys on that statewide map. Now you guys have more of that target on your back. Because you, you kind of took down the big dog under Furio, that target is on your back now. Is, is, is there a different mentality for you, for you and your coaches when talking to your kids and say, hey, you know, now everyone's gunning for us. We got that target on our back. We got to be ready to play every week because we're going to get everyone's best. For sure. I, coming from, from us as a coaching standpoint, there's not going to be a different message. It's just do, do our job, be the best we could be every single week. Um, while, yes, the, the number one ranking and teams are – looking maybe at Ganado differently. Um, at the end of the day, we do we do want the best competition we could get. That, that's how you become the best team you could get. So I think maybe that'll help. I, I'm not sure. But uh, but our message is going to be the same. We just go out and execute to the best of our ability, and, and, and we'll see what happens. You take a half step this way, Coach. There you go. There you go. Get that handsome face in the shot there. Now, uh, because you guys had success last year, it was a realignment year. Was uh, was it a little a little tougher finding non-district games for you guys this year? Or were you able to pretty much get a non-district schedule put together? Because you see sometimes at realignment when teams have really good years, coaches are kind of avoiding you, not wanting to make eye, eye contact with you. So how did that process go? Uh, it's actually it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad for us. Uh, we're we're located right in the middle of a 3A Division II um, district, and so we we're able to find non-districts from them. Um, and it's going to be really good competition. I, I think the our non-district schedule is the best it's been probably in the past four years so we're excited about that it's good to play pe good people in non-district because you want you want your deficiencies and your awards exposed right because if you get them exposed in november december you're airing up basketballs correct exactly yes sir yeah no we need to see uh we need to see what we need to work on early in the season for district and then uh and then obviously for the playoffs when they come you guys have been a regular here at the state 707 tournament uh it's been a few years in a row you guys have made it uh what do you want to see out of your guys today how 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 uh what's the experience like playing against some teams from different parts of the state getting to face different competition that that's the my favorite part is just seeing schools from areas of the state that we don't never see we read about in the magazine that y'all put out but i mean we don't get to see them um and so it's exciting getting to compete against them but what we're looking for is just improvement improvement throughout the day uh kids to step up become better leaders and uh for the team to start gelling for what's about to start in a month all right now one final question for you how are you when it comes to seven on seven are you are you one of those coaches you're on the edge of your seat every play wishing you could coach or are you pretty laid back and just kind of chill or you know some coaches just just get real fired up and they just want to uh, celebrate with the kids but some guys some guys are hanging on every play. So how, what, what's your uh, seven on seven approach when you're uh, the, the most important fan out here, I'd say? I try to take the approach of sitting back, laid back, let the kids have fun. But unfortunately, uh, I get caught up in the in the excitement of the kids and, and the desire to win, right, and be successful. So I don't know. I'm trying to step back, but uh, it's tough, tougher said than done. <laughs> you're a competitor at heart, right? You're a competitor. And, you're, you're kids, and when the kids are wearing Ganado colors, you want them to win, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, Coach, enjoy watching your kids compete today. We appreciate what you do for student-athletes in the state of Texas, and uh, good luck in 2024. Yes, sir. Thank you all for, for everything you all do. Thanks, Coach.